What is going on guys? It is Real Touch GML here back with another Minecraft tutorial. The response in this series is great so far, so of course I'm going to keep delivering and bringing you tutorials all the time, I guess. All right. So today we're going to do be doing something pretty exciting. We're actually going to start infinite terrain and a rendering system. Okay? So, what do I mean by this? Basically, uh infinite terrain and a rendering system <laughs> so all right let's just go ahead and start that now I guess uh, let me go and run the game here and as you can see we have a nice little guy here we I actually in the last story I forgot to uh, start the walking animation so we'll do that again today but as you can see there's just this one little chunk here and this is by by all means not an infinite terrain okay um, so that's yeah let's go ahead and start that up all right so first off what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the generate script here and we're gonna just change a few things so first off what we're gonna change is this for loop here we're actually gonna create a new variable system var starting room and this is going to equal argument zero and we're gonna say var ending room uh, ending room equals argument 0 plus 1600 so basically each chunk that we are creating is going to be 1600 uh, pixels long so in here we're gonna put the starting room at the XX and the ending room at the XS less than alrighty so there we go. So now we have that started. Now what we need to do, since we have an argument in here, we need to go into the create event and we need to actually set an argument in here. So I'm going to put zero because we're going to actually start the room out at zero. All right. So if we went ahead and ran it now, everything should be the same. Uh, but we, uh, we should just still have the same room size here. And that's one thing that kind of, when I first thought about it, I said, you know, how would you do infinite terrain? Uh, you've got this room size. I mean, yes, you can make it like a super big room and kind of simulate uh, terrain. But then I was like, you know what? That's not infinite terrain. So I'm going to set the width to 1600 just for the first uh, chunk size here. But what we're going to do is in the views here, enable views, but don't make it follow the player. Basically, what we're going to do is we are going to manually create this this function of the object following. All right. So basically, in Game Maker, this room is just kind of like a workspace, sort of. Game Maker made it just kind of like a a, a room workspace. So there, in essence, this room is actually infinite in itself. This is just a better interface that Game Maker went with YoYo Games to make it easier for the for the user to create stuff. So with that said, we can go to the player here. In the step event, we can say view underscore x view zero equals x minus view underscore w view zero divided by two. All right. So if we ran it now, Go and let it compile here. As you can see, and we're stuck. There we go. So as you can see, it's now we we do get the same view, and we we're gonna have to do the uh, the Y view as well. Let's do that now, actually. So let's copy this. Let's paste it down, and we'll say Y view, Y and H view. So now what we've done is we've kind of simulated the view function with the rooms. So as you can see, here we are. And we've got our nice little chunk size here. But it drops off, and that's why we're going to be doing infinite terrain here. All right, so let us begin. So first off, yeah, we're also going to, let's go back into the generate here. And we're going to return ending room because we're going to want this argument here this variable we're going to want to check when the end when it ends 
And then when it ends, we're then going to create another chunk on top of it. All right. So in the player here, in the step event, what we're going to say is if x is greater than or equal to, and actually I'm getting a little ahead of myself here. All right, let me let me do one thing here. So in the create event, in the object generate, create a variable global dot length equals generate zero. So this right here is going to take the variable status of our ending room. So basically 1600 is what length now equals to. So in our object player here, we can say if x is greater than or equal to global dot length divided by two, because we're going to create the next chunk when it is halfway when, when the player's halfway through one chunk, it's going to create the next chunk. And and can create, which is a variable we're going to create. We're going to set can create to equal false. And we're going to say global dot length equals generate global dot length. And then can create equals true again. And let's go ahead and create that variable. Can create equals true, we'll say. All right, so if we run it now, I'll just show you it, and then I will kind of explain it a little bit more. So here we are, we have our player, and we're walking, we're walking, and again, we have to do that walking animation, and we have a huge little ocean here. And this is a glitch I was going to get into in a second, just bear with me now. So here we go. So as you can see, we are going a little farther than we did last time, and this is infinite terrain. It, it will never stop. Alrighty, so that's that's pretty awesome. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, that's really awesome. Uh, so this only goes to the right side, though. We need to we need to go uh, to the left side. All right. Alrighty, so let's get into the left side of the screen. So basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the object generate here, and in the create event, I'm going to create an another variable. Kind of stuttered there. So I'm going to say global dot length. 2 equals global dot length because we want them to both equal 1600 all right so now what we're going to do it, it, and we create the other variable is because we need to check what the current chunk is at for the left side and the right side all right so if we go into the object player here and we go into the step event and with this we say if facing equals 1 then we're going to do this code so copy that, do that, just kind of indent it a little bit. Let's copy and paste this now. Else, boom, negative one, because that's for facing left. And instead of all this length, we're going to just say length to, length to, length to minus 3200, because we do generate from left to right, so we need to start it generating from far to the left. So since we already equal length two to 1600, first off, we're gonna say minus 1600, which would put it to the origin of zero. And then if we do another minus 1600, that would put it to the left. So we're generating a chunk to the left of us. All right, so if we run it, oh, and actually, you know what, I forgot, I forgot to do something. Stop that. Um, you also need to say is less than equal to, not greater than equal to, all right? So now let's run it. And we don't have the player starting in the middle, so you're actually gonna see it warp. If I hit left, you can see it generate right there. But if we keep going right, as you can, it, it will generate to the right as well. If we go over here, we've got like this little river type thing. And again, this is, a, this is an issue I will uh, go across in the next tutorial with the water. And we're going to start the rendering the next tutorial as well. So I kind of wanted to get the infinite terrain going. And then now that we've got the infinite terrain going, we can start biomes. We can start the render methods. We can do all of the fun stuff. All right. So here we go. And let me do the walking animation real quick. And there is a little bit of lag here. And that will uh, stop when we put in the rendering method. All right, let me do the walk animation real quick. 
Uh, da, da, da. It's pretty easy. Just in here, we can say image speed equals 0 0.5. Copy that. Paste it down. Copy those two. Check released. And get rid of this, get rid of this, zero. Alrighty, so now we have a walking animation. So that's my tutorial for today. Go leave a like, go and subscribe. Let's try for 70 likes this time. I hope we can do it. And uh, yeah, there we go. We got like a little, we got that walks now. That looks a little bit better. Anyways, alright, so I will see you guys next time.